Hello everyone, welcome to the daily reading. This is your daily message for tomorrow, uh, Monday, July 20th, 2020. For all signs, all signs that may be watching, hope everyone is doing well. Um, for your reading today, we are using the After Tarot deck. And um, I was going to decide on an Oracle deck here. I'm not quite decided on that yet, but we may be doing an Oracle card at the end. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, as you all probably know, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. As I always say, for the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome, please come get a personal private tarot reading with either me or your favorite tarot reader out there. Let's see what's going on for the collective for tomorrow. Monday, let's see, I got to turn. Monday, July 20th, 2020. Messages and energies for my viewers, please. Monday, July 20th, please. What are the messages and energy spirit you want to share with my viewers? Two more here. Two more shuffles. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. And we have the King of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Fool. Maybe speaking to an Aries. I'm also getting Taurus and air sign energy just in general. So communication. Um, I guess we'll just say Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Aquarian energy here. I'll try to move the camera a little bit closer. I feel like someone here is a. Uh, Holding on to a relationship, uh, maybe speaking to an Aries or a Virgo, or someone here is afraid to take the leap of faith. Um, or this is someone that uh, did something foolish here. They jumped, uh, they leapt, uh, they did not look before they, they leapt. <laughs> and uh, so they're hanging on by a thread here. Someone is unwilling to let go. Um, this is preventing a new beginning from happening so it, it looks like uh, I'm speaking to someone here I, I feel like that first of all we have the ace of swords yeah so the sword of truth this is a this is like a realization here this also could be some harsh communication uh, the ace of swords to me is cutting something off it also can be said that the Ace of Swords is like the last scene in a video game where you defeat your opponent and level up. So, um, while I feel like there's a new beginning here, I feel like uh, we're not starting off, let's say, with a clean slate. I'm kind of seeing a situation here where two people are still holding on to each other or holding on to a relationship, even though the truth has come out. Um, I'm definitely seeing Tauran energy here. Well, I'll just say also Virgo Capricorn, but I'm definitely seeing Tauran here. And uh, Leo Aries Sagittarius coming through. Um, because there's two kings coming up here, this, this doesn't have to be, we'll just say it could be male or female, but I'm definitely seeing masculine energy here. 
I'm seeing two people who are probably going to be butting heads here for a while. Um, two people who wear the crown, so two people in leadership. I'm hearing heads of state, so this could be two people that have a lot of power. Uh, this could also be a same-sex relationship. Where I feel like um, people are refusing to, to concede power to each other. And uh, because of that, it's uh, there's going to be a delay here to a new beginning. This is also, I feel, um, we're holding on, we're afraid to let go and see what happens, you know, kind of situation. There's a lot of tension. Now, I don't read these cards um, for the sake of this reading. I'm not reading these cards in reverse, but I do want to note that both of these cards did come up reversed. So um, I, I could be definitely speaking to two people that are holding a grudge against each other or, like I said, butting heads. Um, there's uh, repressed energy as well at play here. Uh, some characteristics, the King of Pentacles, the Tauren would be someone who is a fixed sign and the Leo would also be someone who is a fixed sign. So if you're dealing with a Leo, dealing with a Taurus, uh, a Tauren or a Taurus, um, these are two people that are very stubborn. First of all, they have fixed ideas and fixed ways of being, fixed fire and fixed earth, um, meaning it could take 100 years for these people, uh, these energies, to change their mind, their habits, the way they do things. That's not to say that they can't change, but it would take a lot. Um, and so we could say that they, these are two people that are, are rivals or they are butting heads or they're opponents or they're both refusing to change. They're both refusing to budge. And yet we have this new beginning here. Someone is still holding on for dear life. Someone is afraid to let go. I feel like this is a love reading too. This could be a, for, for um, two people who are Refusing to uh, let go of a relationship here. I'm also getting a little bit of a sacrifice, sacrificial energy again of someone that would, is not thinking about the consequences. They're only thinking about love. And meanwhile, he's losing his belongings. The dog is barking at him. The world is going by and this guy's just holding on for dear life. It's two people holding on for dear life, really. And um, there could be, you know, an earthquake or a volcano going on in the background. I mean, this guy's dangling off a cliff here. It's dangerous, dangerously close to losing everything, dangerously close to falling here. And yet still holding on. Interesting thing about the Ace of Swords here, we have the Falconer. Right. And uh, the falcon is uh, a tr like you, you actually I've, I've seen them before, but uh, they're used in military operations. <clears throat> they're used also for hunting. It's also a, like a game sport. It's a, it's a huge sport, actually. But anyway, these falcons are 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 uh, very, tr very well trained. Uh, they always come back. You know, um, they've got the blinders on so they, they don't get distracted. Uh, actually, they put the blinders on when the bird comes back to the falconer in order for them to um, not be distracted by uh, other game, other prey, etc. Um, so it's an extremely focused uh, type of situation once the bird has the, the blinders on. Uh, they've 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 come back, you know, so to speak, and it's a resting point here, until the command is given to go, waiting for the command to go, you know. But at this point here, things are under control. In the, in the traditional tarot, uh, the Ace of Swords is like this. It's up, um, but here it's at rest. This, that's why it's the after tarot, right? It's the moment after. So uh, something has been, words have been spoken. A truth has been 
this is like a resting point. If someone made their point, someone has made their point, and it's kind of that moment where we have to decide, does that mean that this is over? Are we still holding on? What's going to happen next? Um, unfortunately, this is it for the, the spread. I'm not going to put any more cards down, but I will say that uh, I'm definitely seeing two people here who are refusing to let go. Refusing to, refusing to let go of each other. Sorry, that was, I think my neighbor downstairs. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull an oracle message. It's been a it's been an interesting day. Um, the first sound I heard this morning was loud thunder, and uh, I have my I did get some messages from that, and then there was a loud bang, and then there was more loud thunder. So there's a lot going on. I feel spiritually right now. Um, I will say I do not feel that the powers that be are very happy right now, and I I definitely um, was getting a lot of messages, a lot of downloads while I was asleep after I heard that but um yeah so there's a lot definitely going on behind the scenes I guess uh, I'll definitely put that out there so yeah the gods are not happy Let's see what wants to come out I thought something flipped over here all right, so we're using the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. Let's see what's going on for tomorrow. Please help clarify this reading. We have the Hawk Prince. How perfect, because we do have the Falcon here. It says spirit communication, paying attention. Yeah, definitely. In some ways, I feel like there's two people here that are refusing to, to heed a warning or even to listen to the spiritual messages. I feel like, um, and this was a message I was getting earlier and I was actually getting it for Libra. I heard the thunder and I heard uh, a voice say that um, they wanted um, Libra to uncross their swords. So I'm really getting spirit wants people to see something. Spirit wants you to see the truth. Um, there's a lot of spiritual communication happening right now, but are you paying attention? Um, that's the question. Are you paying attention? Also, I would say that if you see a hawk or if you see a falcon, actually a bird of prey, I would say that would be a spiritual communication as well. That spirit warning you or giving you a signal here. They want you to pay attention. Let's see what they want you to pay attention to. I mean, I already have my own ideas, but let's see what the book says. So the hawk prince... Um, as an ally appears with good news. He flies into your life to alert you that a message is coming to help you manifest your destiny. Expect a phone call, letter, email, or conversation that lets you know the next step to take toward your greatest good, or to tell you that you're, you've are you arrived at an important stage along your path. The Hawk Prince is also the ally for spirit communication. So pay attention when you think you hear something important pop out at you on the radio, on TV, or in overhearing the conversations of strangers. Spirit is constantly in dialogue with you. Are you listening? Stay open and expect spirit to speak to you and show you the way to your prosperity in all aspects of your life. And as a challenger, the Hawk Prince challenges you to pay attention and listen to the warnings being sent your way. And that's kind of what I was getting is that this is more of a warning. Are you pushing forward in spite of others cautioning others cautionings about the directions you are headed the direction you are headed? Are you refusing to listen to your own inner voice? Red flags are waving in the breeze and yet you're being challenged and you're being challenged to heed their message. When the Hawk Prince descends as your challenger, it's an indication that something is not quite right. 
Don't worry. It says, don't worry, though. He always arrives just in time for you to let go of your old ideas and begin again. Spirit only wants the best for you. Right. So that's the question. Are you willing to let go so you can begin again? Or are you going to continue to hold on? So a little bit of a caution there. I feel spirit is speaking to us today and always, but especially I feel very strongly. I felt it this morning. I heard a lot of thunder. I heard a lot of loud bangs. And then I got the message that we need to see something for what it is. There's definitely spirit cautioning us about something here. And in this situation or this particular reading, um, it's about holding on to the old, something old here that we need to let go of. Possibly a relationship. Um, there's a lot of stubbornness here, attachments, um, kind of a blindness. I'm getting a blindness, just being blind, refusing to see. Um, it's that two of swords energy, right? So here the ace of swords is, I feel like the thunder, it's like, no, you need to listen. You need to see, please. So anyway, um, they're going to make sure that you're paying attention. If you're not paying attention, this could easily turn into uh, a scenario where you don't hear the, you don't heed the red flags. You're going to end up in a dangerous situation. So, or in an unfortunate situation. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it right there. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Thank you for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. And uh, if you'd like to book a personal private tarot reading with me, my information is below in the description. Take care.